Uh, Rachel, do you believe in horoscopes and that kind of thing? No, I don't. Do you still do what I do and still look them up when they're in the paper? I have done. Yeah. <laughs> I have done, but not on a regular basis. No, okay, that's fair enough. It's weird because obviously I don't think the planets align themselves due to my business ventures. Um, but I will still read it. If it's in the paper, I still look it up and go. Ah. If it's a good one, yeah. you'll stick with it. Yeah. It's a good, a good, a good thing. <laughs> Tall, dark, handsome yeah. stranger. Oh, there's something in this. Yeah, this is going to be me. Yeah, yeah. you'll see how this, this is panning my weekend out great. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, this is going to be a little experiment um, around the star sign. So you obviously know your star sign. Yes. Uh, so that's great. I've got a little card there. Um, so your star sign will be one of those on there. I don't have the trendy 13th one that there was loads of fuss about. I don't know if you saw that. But oh, yeah. apparently it was all worked out wrong and there should have been a 13th one. Oh, wow. Then. Everyone Ooh, who would want that though? And yeah, two. I think everyone in the world went, oh, I can't be bothered to redo it. Yeah. So, you know. So there you go. Um, but all of the um, star signs are on there and then there's numbers next to them. We're going to use that number that's next to the, your star sign in a moment to get you a lucky card. Right, okay? okay. And that's going to be chosen by the stars. Right, it's be okay. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so obviously I need some special cards for this and I've started making the most magical pack of cards I possibly can. Right? Oh. I'm only about halfway there, but it's pretty cool. Look, because what I've done is every time I've seen a magician, I have taken a card from their deck. I've asked. I was going to say, and, just, just nicked one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I'm slowly oh, wow. building up a deck of cards, which is going to be um, the most magic pack of cards of all time. Wow. So, uh, but there's about half a pack here, and that's enough to do a trick steal. Uh, so we're going to use these. In fact, um, we won't even need half. So if I give you a bunch of these, uh, probably, yeah, that'll do. Uh, just take those and just, however you shuffle them is fine, but just mix them up. If I was a fortune teller, this is the bit where I'd be saying you're putting your energy into the right, cards, okay. you know, all that kind of thing. Okay, you, imbue it with some me. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Picking up your vibes. Okay. When you're happy, you're happy those are shuffled up? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> That's it. They're done. Uh, so we chuck them on there. And then um, what I'm going to have you do now is look up your star sign. Uh, I'm going to do. The, I'm going to turn away while you do this. But let's say, for example, you're a Taurus. Mm -hmm. Your lucky number would be four. So what I'd have you do is just move four cards from the top to the bottom. Just one, two, three, four, like that. Right, but okay. for your number, for my one. Okay. So I'll give you that. Okay. I'll leave that there and I'll look away. And I want you to, yeah, just move your number of cards from the top to the bottom. You can move them all at once or one at a time, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And let me know when you are done. Try to do it quietly so you can't hear. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> That's yes. great, excellent. So take them back. So now you've shuffled the cards, you've put your energy in them, and now we're starting from a point that's unique to you because you've used your star sign to get there. That makes True. sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So again, we're not going to need all of these. I think 12, we, well, we're only going to need 12. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal these out into like a clock shape. Okay, so we're going to go literally like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And this is going to mean that we can choose your lucky card. Right, okay. So, first of all, I'm going to try and pick up on your star sign a bit. Now, obviously you don't believe in these, uh, all this horoscope nonsense. Um, <laughs> but it is weird, because I know you're a Gemini, so don't know how we're going to reconcile that. That's going to be awkward. Um, so, <laughs> if you went for a Gemini, nice. uh, your lucky number is five. Yeah. So, if we think of this as a clock, uh, your lucky card is good. That's going to be 12. So, one, two, three, four, five is going to take you here. Oh, that's a snazzy. Snazzy. It's a snazzy card, it is, yeah. yeah. Uh, to the three of hearts, that's going to be your lucky card. I had a feeling as well, Rach, that that's where we'd end up. It does feel nice, um, three of hearts. It feels is. nice to me. It is, yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that worked out because I had a feeling you'd end up with it because this isn't just a little card with the star signs on it, it's an envelope. And inside, before we started, I placed a card and it just so happens to be a three of hearts with the same snazzy back. That's weird, isn't it? Now, there's obviously two things that have happened. Either this was all written in the stars, or all the cards are the same. Well, they have not the backs. No, but they could all be the same on the faces, couldn't they? Oh, I suppose they could be. And they are. But it doesn't help, because they're all King of Cups. Every no. single one, all the way through. Even the ones you do choose <laughs> are all what? the Kings of Clubs. Thank you.